Hey everyone, Ryan from eBike Escape. This video is going to be slightly different than some of my more recent videos because I'm actually selling my Ride One Up Limited. If you're not familiar with the channel, not only do I review a lot of electric bikes, I also ride a lot of electric bikes and some for quite a few miles. The Ride One Up Limited is one example of that. So last year when I first started getting into reviewing some electric bikes, we really needed a second electric bike to go with our Rad Power Bikes, Rad Wagon, and we decided on the Ride One Up Limited because it was a new model from the company. I of course did several videos on this bike and in fact I've reviewed most of the models now from Ride One Up including the Roadster V2 and the 500 series. So if you're interested in those bikes you can check that video out. But the Limited was really our second electric bike and we used this quite a bit last year. And given that I do review electric bikes I always need to be reviewing some of the newer models and this is a first generation limited and at this point I have a garage full of electric bikes so I have to prioritize which ones I currently own and I'm testing and unfortunately the limited has to go because we need to make space for newer models that I'm reviewing so I'm going to talk a little bit more about the limited here in just a second and if you are looking to purchase a ride one up electric bike or any of the other brands that I talk about on this channel please consider using the link in the description before you make a purchase as that helps support me and helps me make more videos like this one and review electric bikes like the limited i will also have links to some of our resources our electric bike accessories list top e-bike brands page as well as our electric bike discount codes page all right so now let's talk a little bit more about the ride one up limited and i want to talk a little bit more about the changes as well and you can see now I have taken off all of the accessories. I actually did an accessories video with the Ride One Up Limited, but I've taken most everything off. I'm actually including that rear rack in the purchase for the person coming up this evening to purchase this electric bike. But firstly, I wanna talk about some of the things that I really liked about the Ride One Up Limited. So firstly, I really like the value that you get when you purchase a Ride One Up electric bike. So for context, last year this bike was listed at $17.95 and now it is up to $18.95 and there's a whole variety of reasons for that, including shipping container costs, parts, components, and tariffs, all those sort of things. And it used to be that the Limited was the highest end bike that Ride One Up offered, but they now have the Prodigy, which I wrote about at eBike Escape. And that just opened up for pre-order, so I will put a link to the Prodigy in the description. I am hoping that I will get to review that electric bike, but unfortunately it won't be until 2022, I believe. And the other thing that attracted me to the Limited were the components. Now you do get an air fork, which is a higher quality component. You just don't see that on too many electric bikes in this price range. You also get hydraulic disc brakes, which is really nice. And this does have an MX US motor, which gives you a little bit more acceleration than some of the other Ride One Up models. Been really happy with this motor when I was testing it out. Again, you can check out those videos if you're interested. And I also really liked that the Limited came with a torque sensor. Now, unfortunately, it no longer comes with a torque sensor. It comes with a cadence sensor. I actually talked about this last fall with the owner of Ride One Up, and he talked a little bit about why they decided to do this, but I really wanted to test out a bike last year with a torque sensor. So this was the first bike that I was able to do that with. So that was a lot of fun. You get a little bit more of a workout and I did a whole video on comparing the two. So you can check that out if you're interested. But my wife and I liked that this bike gave you a little bit more of a true biking experience. This was also a class three electric bike, so you can go up to 28 miles per hour. We also really like the integrated battery, which you can also get on the Core 5 as well, which is a much more affordable electric bike, but I think it looks really sleek. Of course, this is the high step version and Ride One Up now sells a step through version. And so if you are a little bit on the shorter end, you should definitely check out Ride One Up's step through versions as those fit shorter riders with a smaller inseam. And another thing to note that I do know that they changed with the models 
is that the high step version no longer comes with these swept back handlebars. That is also reserved for the step through variation. And I know they also changed the LCD screen. We can actually take a look at this and I'll tell you how many miles we have. It looks like we put on 813 miles on this bike. And mostly that was actually last year. We haven't ridden this for too many miles. And of course I just charged it up because we are getting ready to sell it. The other thing I believe they changed on this bike is they have moved the kickstand towards the back, which I really like. And the other thing we really liked about this bike was these Schwalbe Supermoto X tires. Really nice, high quality tires. They're made a little bit more for the street, but we definitely took this off-road a little bit. Of course, you have that nice air suspension fork, which was handy. But overall, we've been very happy with the Ride One Up Limited. Again, the only reason I'm getting rid of this electric bike is because we have too many in the garage and we have too many options when we want to go out riding. And of course, they have made some pretty significant changes to this electric bike, so it's not quite as relevant for content for the channel, though I do still think it is a great bike at a great price, and I'm really excited to check out what Ride One Up has in store, especially with the new Prodigy. So I hope you found this video helpful if you're looking at the Limited or wanted to know our thoughts on it. Again, Ride One Up is a brand that I've recommended on this channel for over a year, and I think it's a great budget-priced electric bike company with prices ranging from right around $1,100 and now with the Prodigy up over $2,000. Again, links will be in the description if you wanna support the channel before you make your purchase. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>